the murderous rampage in Connecticut yesterday it's amazing and the gunman has reasons for his uh, rampage he says that he was racially harassed and um, and of course they asked him to resign or they would fire him now many people are saying this is no reason to really get in enraged and to kill innocent people however uh, the folks at this store uh, this operation are so negligent that it's amazing but let me say this in advance that my Bible and God says except the Lord watch the city the watchman wake it in vain if God was watching that business they would have been okay but he's not watching and so they just wasting time because there are several mistakes they made one as one expert said they shouldn't have allowed him to go into no container in fact they shouldn't have allowed him to take a container in there especially if they know the alternatives were you will resign or we fire you you come in with nothing make sure you you check him out uh, metal detector whatever and um, you should have an armed guard at least or as a matter of fact what about using the internet what about if there was a teleconference um, what about if they had interviewed him out in the street or something uh, or in a special building maybe the guard hut and um, maybe they could have used the internet perhaps they could have you know call him on the phone talk to him tell him to log in and you know send an email with his, his resignation or they send him an email saying it's over and whatever but I mean why this guy has been known as the Mr. Cold as ice or as the Arctic Antarctica I say as cool as cucumber but how did he blow up and become this serious terrorist and um, in all of us there's that level of bestiality that could be very 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 destructive however in my case I have so many problems that I don't even take it on I, I leave my problems to the Lord and many of these people that har harassing me I could see I could see they're being affected by God some of them have to go on medication some of them are so depressed some of them are just staying away so people if anybody is doing you harm don't don't worry to take it out on them in other words you take this guy took eight people let me say all eight people had been his enemy he took them out of the misery I say leave them turn the other cheek and just smile with them and be nice of course you won't bring them into your home if somebody hates you or whatever but forgive them and you know in mind and you just keep going on and eventually the, the hatred they have for you will kill them they'll have heart problems they might have to go and use drugs uh, and, and so on so uh, there was no excuse for it and um, I hope that well of course as time roll on except we come to the place where we can put God in charge we gonna because I don't care who you are it could be the highest uh, intelligence organization in the world the best national police I don't care who it is as long as they are seeking psychics help and they're not turning to God in prayer they're just wasting time Lord say except the Lord watch the city the watchmen wake it in vain